Hi guys, Jasmine here at Breakthrough in English. Today's lesson, we're going to learn all about how to flirt. To help me, I have my good friends, James and Marina. Say hi guys. Hi. hi. Before we start, let's learn some important vocabulary related to flirting. First off, the phrasal verb to pick someone up. In the context of flirting, this expression means to flirt with someone at a bar or a party and then take them home. Dude, you should go try to pick her up. Nah, she never goes for me. From this phrasal verb, we get the expression a pickup line, which is a sentence or phrase used to pick someone up. Now, pickup lines are generally not very effective. They're usually meant to be funny, awkward, silly, or cheesy. Did it hurt? What? When you fell from heaven. Do you have a map? Uh, no, why? Because I keep getting lost in your eyes. <laughs> if I could rearrange the alphabet, I would put you and I together. Okay. So clearly, James needs a little bit of help from a friend. A person who helps their friend pick someone up is called a wingman or a wingwoman. See that guy over there? Yeah. My friend? Yeah. He thinks you're really cute. Really? Okay. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey there. Like, do you want to take it? Yeah. <laughs> now. If you flirt with someone in a weird or creepy way that makes them feel uncomfortable, this is called hitting on someone. Do you see that guy over there? Yeah. I was over there and he came up to me and he kept like trying to talk to me and hit on me and all this stuff. It was so disgusting. Ew. Yeah. Such a so, creep. So creepy. So, if you want to avoid looking like a creep, you need to learn the basic rules for flirting in English-speaking countries like Canada or the USA. Number one, respect personal space. Most people don't like it when strangers stand too close or touch them, especially at first. Always leave some room between yourself and the person you're talking to. Uh, do you mind? Number two, when someone says no, Respect their decision. If someone says, sorry, I'm not interested, you need to stop. If you continue to try flirting with someone after they've rejected you, this is called harassment. Don't do it. Hey, uh, do you want to get out of here with me? <laughs> no, sorry, I'm not interested. <laughs> Come on, yeah, yeah, you are. Look at this. No, like, I'm, I'm really, I'm really not. I'm really not interested. Do you have, like, a boyfriend or something? Back off, please. Hey, um, do you want to get out of here with me? Uh, no, sorry, I'm not interested. Oh, that's okay, no problem. Number three, be confident but subtle, especially when you don't know someone. Don't make direct sexual comments. Instead, keep good eye contact, always smile, and look interested in what the other person is saying. Hey, baby, you look sexy on that top. I'm really glad I met you. Me too. Okay, now we're gonna get to the good stuff. Ways to flirt. The most common way to flirt is to give a compliment or to say something nice about a person. Usually this is done after you're already having the conversation. As I said before, don't give compliments on sexual body parts. Do give compliments on someone's eyes, their smile, their hair, or their outfit. Some common ways of starting a compliment are, has anyone ever told you? Can I just say, or I love your... Has anyone ever told you that you have a really amazing smile? Really? Yeah. Aww. Okay. Can I just say, like, your hair is incredible. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, I really love your eyes. I cannot stop staring into them. Of course, physical appearance isn't the only thing you can compliment. It's always nice to say something about the person's laugh or their personality. If someone is fun or funny, you can say, your laugh is contagious. 
You're so much fun to be around. You're hysterical. If someone is really cool, you can say, you're seriously super cool. I like the way your mind works, or you're a complete badass. Of course, a great general compliment to give is simply, I'm so glad I met you. Uh, you're hysterical. I'm so glad I met you. Thank you. Um, likewise, you're seriously super cool. So, once you've flirted with someone a bit and you want to continue chatting with them, it's a good idea to get their contact information. A subtle way of doing this is asking for their social media. You can say, are you on Facebook, Instagram? Or you can say, do you have Twitter, WhatsApp? Um, by the way, are you on Facebook? Um, no, but I do have an Instagram if you want to follow me. Sure. If you want someone's phone number, don't be too direct. Direct questions can be considered rude or even threatening. So it's important that any invitation is always indirect. You can use phrases like, I was wondering, could I give you a call sometime? Or, I'd love to keep chatting with you. Could I get your number? Clear your schedule, I'm taking you to dinner. Hey, uh, I'd love to hang out sometime. Uh, are you free next week? Uh, yeah. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. See you next time.